Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm rolling solo dolo on this Madden 19 Relocated Austin Desperados franchise. We are at the end of Season 2, folks. We are doing the Season 2 in review. Uh, big news about the Desperados. Um, if you didn't watch all of the Super Bowl video, uh, we have decided to take a break from the Desperados. We are going to start a new relocated franchise here. Uh, tomorrow, actually, the uh, Deconstruct video should pop up. And then shortly after that, There'll be a uh, off-season rebuild, kind of like I did with the Desperados, to get the team ready, and then me and TNT Dynamite will start be start doing the new games. So go ahead and watch those, check those out, see where we're going. But for now, I'm going to go through the season and review. What I also want to tell you guys is, if you want more Desperados, like if you like the this this series, please put in the comments that you want more. If you want more of the Desperados, we'll give you more of the Desperados. We just figured we'd mix it up and kind of do a different. Uh, relocated franchise. So now that I got that crap out the way, uh, let's go ahead and talk a little about about season two. Uh, so we won the Super Bowl again, two straight Super Bowls, all completely undefeated, thirty eight and zero, including the playoffs. Dominant as fuck, the desperado way. So let's go ahead and go look at the stats for the season, everybody. So we got here. Eric Argamonte, 5,500 yards, 67 touchdown passes, and four interceptions. New NFL records. We'll go and see if there's any other records set. So let's go ahead and look at rushing. Deion Ellis, 2,500 yards and 25 touchdowns. And then we'll get into the receiving Garrison Harrison leading the team. Two thousand. Oh, he almost had two thousand yards and twenty touchdowns. So two thousand yards, nineteen touchdowns. Jake Butt almost a thousand, seventeen touchdowns. Look, it just spread around, man. Garrison Harrison and Jake Butt were the most, and then look, Taylor Sutton and Hamilton all were like pretty fucking even. And uh, Hamilton kind of got in things late, so we'll see. Although. Trent Taylor is no longer going to be a desperado, but I'll get into that more in a minute. So go ahead and uh, blocking. Who gives a shit? Whatever. Defense. Uh, Miles Jack. That was a great trait signing. I guess I signed him in the offseason. Led the team in tackles. Uh, Chubb. My safety. Wow. Why are my why are my other guys not tackling people? You sons of bitches. So who led the team in sacks? Bradley Chubb with 15. We had Blair with 7. Lorenzo Malden, Womack. All right, so we, we had some fucking sacks. And let's see here. Interceptions. Eh, you know, Miles Jack. Oh, great. I'm glad that my, my middle linebacker led the team in interceptions. But I'm also not surprised because Madden has an issue with middle linebackers being way too strong. So, all right. Man, Cravant LeBlanc had a ton of deflections. And I had a couple forced fumbles, folks, on... Uh, Parker Van Dyke. I don't even know who that is. So let's see here. All right. Do anybody have a defensive touchdown this year? They're gonna get a. Uh, they're gonna get a bonus. A desperado bonus. Miles Jack, of course. Why wouldn't he? God, that was like the best signing I ever made. Oh, that's sweet. That really helped the D. So all right, we'll go to kicking. We got a uh, Brandon McManus, and uh, he will no longer be with the team, folks. He, uh, he decided he wanted to test the water. So the McGainis to butt connection on the, on the you know, BM play where we use the kicker to throw a touchdown. We'll, there'll be a new kicker. There'll be a new person to try this play with. All right, let's see. Punning. Griffin Simino. He, yeah, we punted. You know, we did some things. And, uh, I mean, he had decent stuff. So kick return. Did anyone run back a kick? They did not. And punt returns. They did not. So... Not really much going on with that. Had some record-breaking seasons. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's click out yearly awards first. The yearly award here, uh, Ergamonte with the MVP and Ellis second. I, I wouldn't think nothing else. Coach of the year, our coach, fucking Matt Hedrick, who isn't even a coach I picked, but we're going to keep him around now because uh, that's how it goes. 
So let's go into the AFC. We're in the AFC, right? Yes. Okay, Offensive Player of the Year. Argamonte and Ellis go surprise. Oh, look at Baker Mayfield, man, being fifth. I love that the Browns are good in this Madden franchise. It is fucking awesome because they're always terrible. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Jack and Bradley Chubb. So I had the top two offense, top two defense, slamming through people. Rookie of the Year. Nobody. Ooh, I didn't have any offensive rookies of the year. Did I draft anybody offensive? That's a, that's a good point. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Ah, oh, Warmack. Oh, look at Warmack. Oh, and Kiri Boone. I'm not even sure who that is, but he's on there too. Oh, let me check down here for offensive rookie of the year. Did I get anybody? No, I didn't. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, best QB, Argamonte. Best running back, Ellis. Best wide receiver, give me Gary Harry. Gary motherfucking Harry. Oh, God, and Trent Taylor's on here too. Look at that, dude. I'm sorry, Trent. I can't, I can't pay you that much money, bro. You're not worth it. Offensive linemen. Oh, they're stepping up. Look at this. Look at these offensive linemen that I've drafted and signed. That's amazing. Uh, defensive line, not the strongest. There's nobody there. Linebackers. Chubb and Jack. Go figure. Did a Lawrence Warmack make it? No, he didn't. He's still young. Maybe he'll creep up. DBs? Nobody. Oh, wait, there we go. David Amerson, who's we never talk about because we sim the D. Best kicker? Of course McAnus is going to be the best kicker. He's throwing more fucking touchdown passes. All right, so there is that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at NFL records because I think we set some records. So we'll go season records. Eric Argamonte, he beat Peyton Manning se season record. Uh, pass TDs, Eric Argamonte beat Peyton Manning's passing record. Rush yards. Ooh, Ellis. Oh, my God. Last year, he had almost 3,000 yards. So he has the top two seasons, 25 and 29. Rush TDs. He set it last year with 34, and now he's down here with 25. Receiving yards. Gary Harry set a fucking NFL record for most receiving yards in a season. Receiving TDs. Gary Harry. Ooh, Gary Harry's third all-time. And Jake Butt with 18 is on the list. Look at the Butt. Uh, let's see. Catches? No, I doubt it. Uh, we didn't really have anybody do anything outstanding on defense. So let's go ahead and look at game records. Argamonte set a pass record. I believe that was in the Super Bowl. Six, 560 yards, and he set the second most, 529. So let's see. Most pass TDs in a game. Argamonte did nine two times this year in the Super Bowl and some other time during the year. I wanted to get that 10, man. It, it, it just didn't come. Uh, rushing yards in a game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Ellis had two this season of over 370. He hit 400 once. So he has the one, two, three, four, five best uh, rushing seasons ever. Uh, rushing TDs in a game. Uh, Ellis has hit five twice. He's never hit six. So he's tied for everybody else. Maybe that's a goal. So let's see here. Rushing, receiving yards in a game. No, nobody ever receives like that. We spread the ball. Everybody gets a scoop. You know what I mean? That's the desperado way. Receiving TDs in a game. Nope. Nope, nobody. So, all right. So there's all the uh, records and the awards and all of that. Let me go ahead and run through who is on the team so you can get like a final look at the team before we lose a few players and try to rebuild a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to the roster. So we got Argamonte, who's an 88. Um, we still, we drafted this guy. He's still, he's still chilling. He's just the backup. He hasn't ever seen the light of day. Uh, so we got here. We got Ellis Grant is just somebody I picked up. He'll be gone. Most of these got, Guys will probably be gone. I need to find some backups, I would imagine. Uh, fullback, uh, Janovich. I would love to find another fucking fullback. I may try to trade for one or something because this dude is... I mean, his lead block is good and everything. He's just... I don't know. I don't know. There's something about him that isn't great. He He's not very good at blocking. I mean, obviously, Ellis is good, but... Wide receivers, Gary Harry's the number one receiver. And what's funny is we keep him in the in the slot, in the third position. Uh, so he isn't even on the field all the time. We keep him fresh. Uh, we got Sutton. Taylor's going to be gone. We got Hamilton. And then these three guys are probably going to be gone too. So we are going to have, it's going to be Gary Harry, 
Sutton and Hamilton, and then we'll find a, a new fourth and probably a fifth or whatever to kind of, as guys get old or want too much money or whatever. So tight end, the butt is, of course, going to be the man. Uh, we have a couple backups here. I mean, I don't know where when their contracts are up or whatever, but, I mean, butt's really the, the go-to. Uh, our tackles, our, our tackles getting a little old. Uh, we got a, a new one. I mean, I'll keep I'll keep drafting them. It's never hurts to draft linemen. Uh, our line, you know, our line isn't that great, but for some reason in this Madden 19 game, the lines just aren't that great. Period. So we got uh, Reed Beeler here. He was really good. Uh, who else we got? Cameron Goodley, AJ Slaughter. So I mean, we got some we got some players at the line. I need to double check who who was in the top lineman. I'll make sure I don't get rid of them or draft somebody to replace them. Left end, we got Morgan Fox and Cap Cappy. So we're good there. Uh, who's our right end? We got Ronald Blair, who fucking was phenomenal this year with sacks. So I'll keep him around. It looks like he's about to dip, so maybe I can keep him around. Defensive tackle, we got, we got a couple decent guys. Uh, left outside linebacker, that was our new guy, Womack, Warmack. Middle linebacker, we got, this is a rookie. Oh, Kiri Boone, okay, that's cool. He was he was doing it. Lattimore, like, these are, guys are all rookies. So, uh, God, Brandon Marshall needs to go away. He's been just hanging on. Uh, right outside linebacker, Chubb is amazing. We got Vance, he was a rookie. We got Jack Sen, I mean, he's a, he's a star. He's listed as a star player, He was, but he was like a fourth-round player. I need to get him in the game. So I'm going to see what I can do with that, try to get him more play. Cornerbacks, we got Roby, who's on his way out. Look, we, we need cornerbacks because, look, 29, 29. Cravon LeBlanc is in here, but I really need to step up and get some. Maybe I'll try to spend some money on some cornerbacks or maybe try to draft one. We'll have to see. Uh, free safeties, Simmons is still around. We, we're pretty good there. Strong safety, Sue Cravens, he's decent. You know what I mean? So we got our kicker, who we're going to have a new kicker because he's dipping. He's leaving the Desperados. He's dead to us. And Griffin Simino. He's our punter. And uh, where's our draft pick? So we got one first, one, two, three, four, five twos, one, two, three, threes, one, two, three, four, fours, one, two, three, four, five, fives, a six, and three sevens. I need to I need to try to trade for some players to get rid of some of these picks. I can't be I can't be doing that. It's nice and all, but it's just too much money. So that is who is on the team. So when we get into the off-season video after this, I'm going to do the off-season video so the team would be ready to do a third season. So like I said, if you guys want more of the Desperados, just let me know. And we will definitely try to get them back into the rotation. Or maybe if we have a few relocated teams, we'll kind of do sporadic games here and there of each team um, and kind of move through the seasons on all of them. We'll figure it out as it evolves. This is all something new for our channel. We will kind of want to do what you guys like. So we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and real quick before we end the video, go through the standings and the playoffs and all that stuff. Uh, the uh, AFC North looks like the Browns were winning the division. I love to see the Steelers with a losing record. AFC South, kind of average. Texans and Colts made the playoffs. AFC East, the Bills, dude. Look at the Patriots, 6-10, and 10, life after Brady. Uh, Desperados, the rest of our division was trash. I hope somebody else moves so bad, but I don't think they did. We already have the Sentinels. Uh, NFC North, uh, Packers, look at them, but they didn't even make the fucking Super Bowl, or did they? No, we didn't play the Packers in the Super Bowl, so they, they choke, Lions are good, uh, Saints making the playoffs at 7-9, and nine, keeping a strong, strong presence, Cowboys and Eagles, NFC West, the Rams, and that's really it, like, uh, I just want to thank all you guys for watching these videos, it's great that you guys enjoy them. Uh, you know, make sure you leave a comment. Let us know if you want to see something different. Here's the players that I still need to negotiate with. Um, Corey Grant will be gone. Blair, I'll probably try to re-sign him. He doesn't want a lot of money. Uh, Haynes Raquel, I'm not, I'm not really worried about him. He was just somebody I picked up. Uh, Jalen Holmes, no. Long McDowell, no. I'm not going to franchise McManus. Oh, I am going to let that left tackle go. That's right. Okay, he just wants a lot of money. I forgot. So Garrett Bowles will be gone. Uh, Trent Taylor is going to be gone. Walker, Marshall. Oh, finally, Marshall. Jesus Christ. All right, Cap Cappy. So the only one I may keep is Ronald Blair because when I did the stats, he had like six sacks. I mean, he's a good – I mean, he doesn't want a lot of money either. So, so I'm going to maybe try to see if I can sign him for, 
you know, a couple mil or whatever. But I didn't really like Grant as a backup, so I'll get somebody else. But so that's where we're at, folks. Uh, next up, next is the off-season video. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to put it out now or maybe if or put it out right before we come back uh, with the Desperados if we do a third season. So it may be out with this video um, or it may be delayed and just put out when uh, we decide if we're going to do a third season. So. But that is all the time that I have for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, please make sure... We have other stuff on the channel. We do game playthroughs. Check those out, too, with my uh, partner in crime here, TNT Dynamite. Lie to your friends. Tell them that we're worthwhile. Get them to sub, too. We love all the subs. We love every sub we have. So, but for Jonas, this could be farewell for the Desperados, but maybe we'll bring them back. But... We have surprises for you in store. There'll be a new relocated team here in a couple days. But for Jonas, I am out.